G'day, it's Shane Dowling here from kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, last night, the Kennedy Awards were held in Sydney. They're one of the uh, Australia's Journalism Awards, probably the second fiddle to the Walkley Awards, which are better known, I think, publicly. But the Kennedy Awards has been exposed uh, with the awards they gave out last night as being nothing more than a sham propaganda outfit for Rupert Murdoch. Um, they gave away two awards for uh, some of the after dark propagandists on Sky News. One was for Shari Markson and the other one for Peter Credlin. Now I don't watch either show uh, to be fair and balanced but you do see snippets of them from time to time on Twitter and the Peter Credlin show is just outright dribble by a propagandist. Uh, Shari Markson I doubt is much better. Uh, they both get heavily criticised on Twitter uh, for just running lies and deception on behalf of Murdoch. Shari Markson threatened to sue me for defamation a few years ago. Uh, she didn't follow through for, with it. But the point is this, they're well knowing for, on Sky News for just telling lies and propaganda and here is a legitimate awards night, well supposedly a legitimate awards night for journalists, giving those two awards. Now what it does, it just undermines the credibility of all the journalists there. Any journalist with self-respect or integrity should have hopped up and walked out once Shari Markson and Peter Credlin were given awards. But they didn't. They all stand around and that's the purpose of it. You have these awards nights, you invite journalists from all over the place, from all the different media organisations. And that, and by them being there, they give the awards credibility. So when you slip in an award for a Shari Markson pushing propaganda on behalf of Rupert Murdoch or a Peter Credlin, that gives them credibility. Now, not only does it undermine all the journalists there, it undermines other award winners, unfortunately. Samantha Maiden got four awards. She's a News Corp journalist. And she should have got an award for a story on Brittany Higgins, but she got four. Uh, Scoop of the Year, Political Reporting of the Year, uh, Investigative Journalism of the Year, and the Overall Journalist of the Year. Now, the Brittany Higgins story was a big story, uh, but it's a political story. And it's hard to see how it can be justified that she got four awards when uh, Louise Milligan, who broke probably the biggest story of the year, forced a federal attorney general to resign or, or be sacked. Uh, he had the support of the Prime Minister, but ultimately the Prime Minister had to get rid of him. Um, and he was given the position of Science Minister or Technology Minister. And he had to resign from that because he was caught out uh, trying to get a million dollars, not trying to, he did get a million dollars under the table to pay for his legal fees and he wouldn't say where he got it from. Now, how can Samantha Maiden get four awards but Louise Milligan get nothing for probably the biggest political story of the year? It doesn't add up. And that's where you have your problem when it's nothing more than a sham propaganda night for Rupert Murdoch to push his lies and his deception by giving awards to Sky News After Dark presenters. Now, there's one other point I'd like to make, and there's NRMA who promote it. They need to be held to account. They would want to have a good look at themselves, because if they keep up sponsoring propaganda nights like that, I think you'll find the Australian public will turn on them. They might want to evaluate their uh, sponsorship of that night, and anyone sponsoring that night should have a good look at themselves. Because it's just straight out lies, deception and deceit, uh, helping deceive the Australian public. Other than that, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you visit my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, sign up for the free email subscription and every time I post a new article, you get an email that you know there's one there to be read. Uh, thank you for your time and have a good day.